One of the most fascinating aspects of nature is the intricate complexity and abundance of processes constantly occurring. The environment is interconnected like a vast web, where events happening at a microscopic scale can profoundly impact entire ecosystems. In a society where we often equate bigger or more expensive with better, it's crucial to remember the immense value of smaller scale processes when considering the environment. This principle extends to conservation and environmental protection efforts as well. Both large and small scale projects hold significant importance and have the power to make a meaningful impact. In this video, we'll compare two conservation projects operating at vastly different scales, yet both delivering valuable results. Stay tuned. The DPAVE Paradise program, led by Green Communities Canada, encourages communities to remove unnecessary urban pavement and replace it with gardens full of native species. Since its inception in 2012, the initiative has completed 80 green infrastructure projects across 32 cities. So far, the program has created more than 16,000 meters squared of green space across Canada. While this is a project with a national scope, each iteration of the program is highly localized and community driven. Volunteers, including residents in various community groups, come together for depaving events, where they physically tear up asphalt and concrete surfaces. After the pavement is removed, these spaces are transformed into vibrant gardens planted with native vegetation. And depaved paradise projects are crucial for communities like where I live in Oakville, Ontario where a significant 40% of the surface area is impervious, exacerbating urban challenges such as flooding and the heat island effect. These initiatives address the disruption of the natural water cycle caused by extensive hard surfaces by allowing rainwater to permeate the ground, thus reducing flood risks. It's a really critical time as we're thinking about uh, how to create this city of the future and how to ensure that that's sustainable and, and resilient to climate change, that we are prioritizing green space wherever it's possible. And while there have been a few local DPAVE projects, this one, facilitated by Oakville Green Conservation Association at the Oak Park Neighborhood Center, saw the conversion of nearly 100 square meters of asphalt into naturalized garden. This initiative brought together a diverse group of volunteers, including youth and local families, who actively participated in creating a new green space for the whole community. The DPAVE program has been a significant project this year for Green Communities Canada, and we're so proud of all the hard work that's gone into creating these new green spaces all across the country. While projects like these are small scale, they can have a big impact on community well-being, habitat creation, pollination services, biodiversity, and providing connectivity between wildlife areas. Don't sleep on the creation of a community garden. Now, let's move on to a project that's a little bit bigger in scale. Welcome to Hopkins Tract a 60-acre property located in Dundas, Ontario. This area has been undergoing restoration efforts led by Conservation Halton since 2015. Hopkins Tract is home to several uncommon and rare Carolinian forest and savanna indicator species, making it a significant ecological area. This property is actually designated as a significant wildlife habitat. And this project is being implemented in two phases. With phase one completed in 2017, 
which included the creation of pit and mound forests, wetlands, and the installation of those habitat structures. Phase two, which spanned from 2018 to 2020, involved invasive species management, further wetland creation, and ravine forest enhancement. Some of the major highlights of the project are the creation of 5,000 square meters of ephemeral wetlands, an area equivalent to a 200 car parking lot. The restored wetlands, which are located close to Lake Ontario, provide crucial habitat for breeding waterfowl and amphibian populations. Additionally, one kilometer of Headwater Creek has been restored. 14 hectares of forest have been planted and various wildlife habitat structures have been installed. By restoring these ecosystems, Conservation Halton is taking an important step in reversing the loss of natural habitats in the Golden Horseshoe region. Additionally, the project supports the recovery of species at risk, such as the mottled dusky wing, western chorus frog, barn swallow, and eastern wood peewee. The Hopkins Tract Restoration Project matters because it creates a vital ecological corridor, strengthening the linkage for wildlife movement and improving water quality. In fact, this already large project is just a small piece of an even bigger conservation project called the Coots to Escarpment Eco Park System that is funded by a $3.5 million grant from the federal government. Leave a like on this video if you want to know more about what a regional interdisciplinary conservation initiative actually looks like. The Hopkins Tract Restoration Project significantly contributes to climate change mitigation by restoring ecosystems that sequester carbon and improve water quality through the creation of wetlands and Carolinian forests. These restored areas not only act as natural carbon sinks and filters for runoff, but also enhance biodiversity by providing vital habitats for local wildlife, including species at risk. Also, this project offers educational opportunities for the community and underscores the role of targeted ecological restoration in addressing environmental challenges. Both small and large conservation projects play crucial roles in environmental preservation. Small-scale initiatives like Depave Paradise in Oakville focus on transforming urban areas by introducing green spaces that offer immediate benefits such as stormwater management and urban cooling. These projects are community-driven, enhancing engagement and education at a local level. Large-scale efforts like the Hopkins Tract Restoration in Dundas tackle broader ecological issues, restoring significant habitats, enhancing biodiversity, and addressing regional environmental challenges like climate change mitigation. These projects are vital for creating sustainable ecosystems over larger areas and involve more extensive planning and resources. But it's important to remember that every conservation effort, no matter the scale, is vital for a healthier planet. Get involved in local conservation initiatives to make a tangible difference in your community. Whether volunteering, participating in events, or spreading awareness, your actions contribute to a sustainable future. Check out the description for resources related to this video, like the video if you found it interesting, and please subscribe for more environmental stories every week. Thanks for watching.